and welcome to Enterprising Entrepreneurs. I'm Sanjay Pinto. This is a show where we throw the spotlight on interesting achievers, on startup ventures, on brand names that don't stem from famous family surnames, not on inherited success, but those who've made it on their own steam. And today we are joined by Soundarya Rajesh. Soundarya, welcome to the show. Hi, Sanjay. Soundarya, in fact, is the founder, president of Avtar Creators, a career recruitment firm. In fact, you believe that a resignation is not the end of a career. It's the start of another one. Absolutely. You said it. Yes. Uh, I think both designations and resignations can change. Mm. And that's why we are called Avtar Career Creators and our uh, you know, logo is a butterfly. Okay. Because it stands for metamorphosis. Okay. And uh, it stands for the fact that you know, uh, we all change. Mm. And that's why our byline is also the power of change. Okay. So we believe that you know, change is good change is positive. Uh, you put yourself, you're stepping into the shoes of your clients and your potential clients. Yes. Because uh, you started off with, uh, I know from, from, from Shakespeare, you went into number <laughs> crunching. You, you have your, oh, your, yes. your, your graduation in, in, in literature. And of yes. course, then you went on to do your MBA from Pondicherry University. Right. And that's where love blossomed. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Yes, uh, confessions. Yes, I did meet uh, my future husband, my uh, you know, uh, husband Rajesh at Pondicherry University School of Management. And you're so right because, you know, the world of dreams and Shakespeare and Wordsworth. You're living your dream totally, now. Yes. You're waking up to reality rather. Absolutely. You just sort of then get into the big bad world of numbers and management mm. and, you know, strategy and things. And then you wonder what's happening. But I think uh, it all turned out good. Uh, it, I, I think everything in life has a purpose, mm. quite really. In your case, uh, Soundarya, you started off with what? Citibank, where you yes. worked for about, and then three years down the line, daughter dear emerged. Son, and that's actually. son, okay. Yes. And that's when people actually sort of tend to take a break. Yes. Uh, and then the you know the coming back, the comeback, as it were, is not always easy. Very true. Hmm? And you Very also true. had, uh, in terms of uh, health reason, also you almost lost your voice. Is that correct? God, uh, absolutely right. <laughs> yes, okay. I did. And usually these two factors would would make a person take a back seat. But you fought those uh, challenges and yes. that's how Avatar was born. Absolutely. You're totally right. Okay. So the initial stages, like you Tell said, us about what went through your mind then when all this happened. Yeah. Citibank was awesome. Mm. I mean, you know, imagine uh, getting paid 6,000 rupees in your first job two decades ago. Mm. I mean, that's a huge amount of money. Mm. And anybody who gets paid that will, will sort of get married to the job. Mm. And, you know, you want to just settle there because you know they're going to take care of you. It was fantastic and I was young and obviously a, a, a great organization to work in. Mm. But uh, I think like you said, you know, two years down the road, I didn't want to so much change the world as change diapers. Okay. Because that's how it, it's, it sort of ended You get tied up. down to changing diapers. Yes. I've also learned that anyway. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, yes. Uh, so we, uh, you know, we looked at what could be done and, you know, it was a conscious decision on my part that I would take a break mm. in career. Uh, I definitely wanted to, you know, spend time with my son and at that point of time, you know, what I went actually and I was, you know, sort of trying to negotiate flexi time, but these were the years, you know, two decades. That's a buzzword time. really in your organization, right flexi now, time. Yes, absolutely. Flexi working. Yes, flexi working. But at that point of time, it was, uh, you know, a challenge. And also at that point in time, probably, Soundarya, it was almost like uh, in its nascent stages that, that flexi careers yeah, no, were really it not there. probably not existent. Mm. See, Flexi careers is probably associated with freelancing. Very that you did true. something as a pastime or to make a little money to supplement your income. But not really as a, as a career. And you know why that was? That's because talent was available aplenty. Mm. And two things contributed to that. One is the advent of more women into the workplace. Mm. And there were a lot more of talent available at that point of time. And the second was the fact that India was booming as a service economy. Mm. So these two things combined made it, you know, that you, you, did, you had people everywhere. You and therein uh, sort of uh, uh, lay the danger because uh, yeah. uh, I'm told that 18 percent, yes, 18 percent of attrition is directly attributable to women leaving the workforce. You're totally right. And that's what fact, uh, 50 thousand women in the metros every year. Yes, absolutely. And you know that's please sit. Okay. And uh, you know that is something that uh, is a resource that going waste. Mm. Like for instance, take me. So what happened after I quit Citibank because I could not get, uh, uh, you know, sort of flexi time, part time kind of an option? 
I looked around and I would get shortlisted. I would go for the final interview, and the deal breaker would be I would say flexi time, and they would say full time. Mm. And this happened. You can't dovetail the two really in the real world. Couldn't at that point of time. And you know, I think that is one reason why we started evangelizing that concept. Mm. We actually said, you know, why can't a woman have it all? See, you educate the woman. We started off by saying, save the girl child. Mm. There were female infanticide uh, cases happening, and we said, let's save the girl child. Mm. Then let we said, let's educate the girl child. Mm. And today I'm saying, why don't you create an environment so that that same girl hmm. who's a woman today can lead a sustainable career? Sustainable so why can't career. That happen? Yes. So sustainability is key here. Hmm. You educate her. Family spends money. Government spends money. Corporate spends money in training her. Hmm. And then after three years, when she hits that biological roadblock, hmm. you know, marriage, children, childbirth, child rearing, hmm. child bearing, all of that. You suddenly turn around and say, you know what? Now it's your headache. That's you've hit the nail on the head, really, because these are very practical uh, challenges that a woman faces today. Yes. Although today the rules are changing, and I think uh, fathers are also playing uh, a more very progressive true. role, oh, like changing from. diapers. But <laughs> okay. uh, but also, I mean, yes, you hit the nail on the head in the sense that yes, child bearing, child rearing yes. for at least three to five years till the child goes to school. Although now you have uh, preschools where they send or pack off the children at uh, one and a half years, <laughs> uh, and also taking care of elderly parents, for instance. So very a lot of women who are very talented, who would make it to uh, the highest rungs of any corporate setup, absolutely, uh, tend to sacrifice their careers, and that's when you come in. Totally, and you know what? Uh, we started off by saying that you know let's just find jobs for people who have taken a break, and that's what started off. Uh, you know, we that is your entire business model. Uh, that's not just. Uh, the whole thing. Okay. There are two parts to it. One is regular talent strategy consulting, hmm. where we work with organizations to understand which talent pool would be most suited to them. Hmm. It could be women, it could be uh, you know differently abled people, it could be seniors hmm. who we call the silver generation, hmm. people who are old and probably have retired, hmm. but still have maybe a good ten years of you know knowledge management and sharing and mentoring left in them. Hmm. So they can be brought back. So we are a regular talent strategy consulting firm. That's hmm. Avatar Career Creators. But the one that you are talking about and which is the closest to my heart, which is a life out of my own story and life is Flexi Careers India, which is a social how enterprise. How does it work, uh, Sandhya? How, yeah. how do Flexi Careers work as opposed to a common man's understanding of the term as a part-time job? Right. How is it different from a part-time job or is it different? It is different. Uh, how it is different is that flexible working has part-time as one of the components, mm. not vice versa. So in flexible working, you could work part-time, you could work term time. You could do a job sharing, you could do a job splitting. You and you could, could work from home. Staggered and you could do work from home. Cloud computing, you could work anywhere. Absolutely. Really. Thin clients are the in thing today. So you could work from out of your mobile. See, in, 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 my, in NDTV, for instance, I think it's one of the few companies where the women get six months maternity leave. Oh, fantastic. And I got, I got, 15, I got 15 days paternity leave, oh, by fantastic. the way. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, okay. And also, they allow you to work around the, your baby's timings, for instance. Okay. But a lot of our senior people have yes. gone through that. Yes. Uh, but do you believe that the corporate world is not really so kind, that, which, is why, which is where you come in? Um, what has happened in the past five years since we started off Avtar Ivan? Avtar Ivan because there are, the reason why I'm asking you is that yeah. I know there are companies yeah. when, 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 when young women join, they almost take a sort of an undertaking. I don't know if it's always on uh, it's making them sign on the dotted line or if it's an under, just an oral agreement that they will give them a commitment that they will not get married like they do, for instance, for hair hostesses. They will not get married for a certain number of years or they will not have kids because they don't want them to leave the job. Is that really, is that a business opportunity for you there? Uh, <laughs> okay. See, uh, since it we takes, started... It uh, takes cruelty to get business also sometimes. That's very sad. It shouldn't happen that way. But in the five years that we have been doing this work, Couple of things I've seen, uh, Sanjay. Mm. One is that the workplace is changing. Mm. It's changing at quite a good clip, I would say, especially In what now way? Um, because you know the organisations have realised the value of diversity. For for an ordinary viewer watching our uh, mm. our show, mm. let's say there's a woman who is uh, you know a young lady who's just had children. Maybe children are just going to school, or maybe a year and a half, perhaps going to those play schools. How would Avatar help them? Uh, give me a, uh, you know, a real life sort of case study. Yeah. How much money would they get? What kind of work would they okay. be able to do? Okay. I can give you the example of this lady hmm. who we actually placed on in a part time role to begin with at Thomson Reuters. Okay. This organization. Hmm. And uh, you know, she got in there. She, you know, coincidentally had twins just like you. Okay. So <laughs> she had hands full, obviously, hmm. you can both imagine. Both hands full, yeah. Yes. So both hands full. And so she's a chartered accountant, she's a gold medalist. Hmm. And she uh, said that, you know what? This is the situation. I want to work, 
but obviously I have kids and you know it's, it's a tough so is it possible for me to work part time and so we found her an assignment with this organization which uh, you know engaged with her part time three years down the road part time mother she works part-time. okay she, she works at home work, no she would come to the office and work okay how but many it hours part time for us four hours okay four hours and she could stagger those four hours whichever way she wanted so that she was really flexible she could choose yes. her hours yes yes you find so lot you of corporates offering that how do you think that corporates are changing the way they are changing is that one is they are more accepting of the fact that you know each person's career is not the same hmm. that you know i could design my career in a completely different way from you hmm. and both of our expertise is needed by the organization hmm. that way uh, companies are changing so in other words you for those who give up their jobs avatar gives them a career after that <laughs> Is that the case? God's grace. Yes, I hope that you know that's the way it starts. So, on average, at. Sundari, how much do these people make? I mean, on average. Okay, it depends entirely. If on somebody their... is working four hours, ah. if somebody is choosing their hours, if yes. somebody is getting that flexibility. Yes. On an average, for somebody well educated, what what what? It give would, me a ballpark. It would figure. depend entirely on their background and what they earned previously. Okay. But let me tell you what I winners typically do. There are twenty thousand I winners on the network. What network. is this I winners really? What yeah, is the I win concept? Yeah, I win. I win is basically interim women managers interface network. Could be anybody. It could be someone who's looking. for uh, you know a job like a chartered accountant it could be entrepreneurs it mm. could be professionals mm. so all of these uh, people together form the avatar i win network 20000 women populate the network right now across okay. india and about 2500 close to 3000 women have got assignments through us over the last 10 years it's over all... the last 5 years ever since the five avatar years. i win so oh, that started in 2005 yes, but avatar yes. started in 2000 that's right Okay. So, uh, 2,500 to 3,000 women, and uh, you were asking me about salaries. Mm. They range widely. We have women who earn on a part-time basis something like about say 5,000, 6,000 rupees a month. Mm. It moves on to 10,000, 15,000. There are women who are earning uh, about uh, say 25, 30,000 mm. on a part-time basis, and we have women at the senior level who do project-based assignments mm. who earn. absolutely equivalent to any big corporate salary mm-hmm. 15 lakhs per annum 20 lakhs per mm-hmm. annum that also is so you spoke about uh, people being wedded you don't have to be wedded to your job i mean yes. lot of companies get that wrong they they expect you to be wedded to your job but they don't realize that you actually wedded to your families now true. also there's this work life balance do you oh believe that God. in today's world this term itself work life balance is an yes. oxymoron you are totally right i think uh, you know you just sort of took the words out of my mouth why do you need to have balance mm. why should it be work and life you know on two scales mm. and it and the very word balance what does it tell you one has to go down for the other to come up mm. why should it happen that way i think work and life have to be integrated together mm-hmm. that's my feeling with how do you do that is it easier that said than done is, uh, very very difficult obviously how many people do you have working for you uh, here we have 40 people how many on the roles of avatar uh, on the roles of avatar would be about 35 okay. and about 6 on the roles of avatar i win this okay. is uh, Kartik here, Hi. who uh, heads Flexi Careers India, which Hi, is Avtar Ivan. Do you have do you have work life balance? Yeah, <laughs> what is what is work life balance according to you? It's basically enjoying the work and enjoying your home. Okay. Both do you work five days a week or six days a week? We work six days a week, uh, but I think it's basically the time that you enjoy that is most. Critical. Do you take uh, Do you allow them to take work home? they do it all the time whether i allow it or not i think <laughs> okay then so what happens. work life balance are we talking about so it's a when you take your black when the laptop comes on the pillow yeah. uh, you know what happens then to work life balance for instance if kartik decides that you know he wants to work from home because his chi- his son is is at a pta recitation and he wants to be there to cheer him on mm. he should be able to do that are you able to do that time? yeah definitely you've done that <laughs> today i came only at 1:00 uh, o'clock <laughs> okay you're not saying this because your boss is within your shot <laughs> no. no no i think i'm old enough and mature enough uh, okay. and senior enough uh, to not to have to please your boss yeah, okay i can see this uh, there's a book there which is undergraduate courses foundation so someone is actually studying there are people who study yes, as also yes that's right huh? there, there are interns here okay uh, the two of them are interns okay uh, so they are doing their uh, graduation at this point of time okay and they're also interning with us okay so uh, that uh, we, that's that's just a little bit on the csr kind of side so we sponsor their education okay and uh, why is so everything orange around is that your team color yes you like right red is a team color of ndtv so orange oh, is okay uh, orange is a color of uh, creativity innovation and more importantly it's the color of india hmm. so uh, uh, we firmly believe not saffron 
uh, saffron, ochre, okay. orange, I think they are all related mm. and they are all uh, very significant of what India stands for. Mm. And I think you know being in this uh, industry, in this business where we are for people, mm. I think there has to be a certain element of sacrifice mm. in terms of you know putting the other person first and mm. not just looking about the top line. Mm. So I think that sort of signif uh, is, is signified over here. So everybody over here, every individual, every avatar right, uh, definitely does his bit for the society. So it's not just about you know have you made your numbers, mm. have you sort of you know made your targets for this year kind of thing. But even that is there because without that then the idea cannot grow mm. bigger than what it already is. All so right. that focus is also required. All right, we'll slide into a short break now on enterprising entrepreneurs. When we we'll be back, we'll talk to Soundarya about how the bottom line has become the headline and really in her case. Stay tuned. <laughs>